Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions on invite request, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to completely disable or remove the right click from your Shopify store. If you do have some product pictures that you did take yourself and you did work on them to make them better and you don't want your competitors to take them and use them in their uh, ad creatives or wherever. In this video, I will show you how to remove the right click from your Shopify store. So obviously the competitors cannot right click and click on the save picture so they can use it on the Shopify store or ad creators or whatever they want to use it for. And I did saw some people actually recommended using an app or whatever to do so. That's really uh, not necessary and as well apps can slow down your Shopify store. In this video I will show you how to completely remove the right click from your Shopify store and as well as a message that will be shown once the uh, the visitor clicks on the right click it will show them a message uh, saying oops that's not allowed or something like that and you can customize that message to anything you want so this is really good so you can show the visitors of your shopify store that you are actually professional and you have control over your assets because that's really important as i said the dropshipping or e-commerce in general uh, has a lot of competition and most of the competition that will uh, grab pictures from other Shopify store and make them better or edit a little bit on them then use them for your Shopify store or for the ad creatives as I said but no worries you click it on the right video I will show you how to completely uh, disable or remove the right click and without any more talking let's just get to it but before we start as you can see the Shopify store right here is actually down team and everything you see in the Shopify store, I did them in tutorials. For example, the video banner right here with the transparent header, uh, as you can see, and the video is actually playing underneath the header. And each one of these two tricks right here, I did show them in separate videos. For the video banner right here with the button and so on, as well as transparent header. Even the hover color, as well as removing the underline once you hover over the menu, does show underline beneath the menus. I did show a video on how to remove those underlines right here as well as the hover effect for the menu and the text color for the sub menu in here as well as the trap down menu color background in here a lot more videos I did show them in how to do the little stuff that you cannot do from the team customizer even removing the cart icon from here or removing the, the search icon from here I mean every question you have in mind about your Shopify store just check out my channel you might already found a video showing how to do so and all the things I do them is completely free and every time I use some code I do provide that code completely free in the description box you just have to click on it and you don't have to pay for anything and it will take you to the page where you're gonna copy the code the only thing I'm asking for just like the banner says just a like please just wait until you see this video and if it did help you to do the thing that you are trying to do just help me out pressing that like button it will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will make the sad emoji right here a happy one so I would really appreciate it and without any more talking let's just get to it so obviously I said I'm gonna uh, disable or remove this one right here the right click so if I did like this right click after I did the trick it will show a message saying oops that's not allowed or you can as I said you can customize the message however you want so I'm gonna stay on the Shopify so I'm gonna keep it open then I'm gonna do the trick and come back in here reload the page and do the right click just like this and see if that will work or not as you can see right now it does work just like you see so let's just head over obviously to Shopify dashboard after you did access Shopify dashboard click on online store from the left menu and after that click on the three buttons on the left of customize right here to show this menu and click on edit code and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team after that the next thing you're going to do is over to the folder assets right here at the bottom of the page assets so simply click on it and it will show you a lot of the CSS and GS code or files in here and we need to find one particular file which is called either global.js or team.js so each uh, team use different one but the, most of the new ones like since team or refresh team or down team which is the one I'm using in this demonstration it uses global.js so just scroll down and make sure you do find global.js if you cannot find it then find team.js as you can see I already find global.js in here and I repeat if you cannot find global.js just make sure to access team.js so that's really important keep it in mind in my case it's global.js but as I said if you do use some of the new teams it will be global.js after that simply click on it and it will show you a lot of JavaScript code in here 
and no worries you don't have to edit any complicated code or anything like that and the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page uh, let me scroll all the way down it's a pretty big file after that make sure you do access completely new line at the bottom of the page and nothing on it then the next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box as always and you will find a link name it as call simply click on it you don't have to pay for anything as i said simply click on it and it will take you to this page where you're gonna see this very short code as you can see it's four lines to be exact and this little code will do the trick of completely disabling the right click from your shopify store so obviously the next thing you're going to do is select the code in here so make sure you do select the whole code after that right click oops let me we select this trackpad always does this let me right click and copy after you did copy the code get back to the code editor right here and as i said make sure you do paste it at the bottom of the file and and completely new line nothing on it so let's just paste it in here after you did paste in the code click on the save button right here and after the changes were saved we will get back to the shopify store and right click on the shopify and see if that will work or not so let's just get back shopify store and reload the page and let's just do right click right now oops check out the message it says here right click disable it on this side and as i said you can actually edit this text let's just get back to the code editor in here and here it is you see in red it says right click is disabled on this side you can actually remove it anything you want let me uh, type in hit the like button please because i want you to do so and so i would really appreciate it so let's just click on save button uh, and get back in here uh, reload the page again so we can see the new version of the message so let's just right click as you can see it says hit that like button and make sure you do so if this video helped you out so that's how you remove or completely hide the right click from your shopify store so your competitors cannot steal your images anymore and if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button but for now i think my job is done if you have any questions drop them below or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i'll see you in the next one